So what do we call that story that I just read? The story of who? The Good Samaritan. Very familiar story, isn't it? So rich, though. I, you can read some commentaries on it. And, uh, and it is this. If Jesus is the Good Samaritan and we are the victim who fell in, uh, victim to the robbers, and the robber is Satan, and the oil and the wine that is poured on us is the sacraments, and then the end is the church, and who pays the price for everything? Jesus does. And so it's a story that really lends itself to a beautiful meditation, and I would encourage you to meditate on the richness of it. And you will discover that in nowhere in the story does it say that he was a good Samaritan. What does it say? He was what kind of Samaritan? He treated him with mercy. So he's really the merciful Samaritan. And so with that kind of transition to Sister Faustina for just a couple of minutes, and, and uh, those of you who have uh, taken the opportunity to pick up the diary of, of St. Faustina, I encourage you to, to keep reading, okay? And those of you who haven't yet pick, picked it up, I just would say to you, it's worth your time. It's worth your energy. It's not the easiest book to read. It's not like reading a novel. It's very much like reading a diary. And, uh, and you know, St. Faustina's experience of God's mercy. St. Faustina's experience of God's overwhelming mercy. And, you know, we have Divine Mercy Sunday, which is a direct result, if you will, of her revelations. We have the image of the mercy of divine mercy. But you know, the, the story that St. Faustina gives us in the mercy of God, in the mercy of the Good Samaritan, it, it has this, this sobering component to it. You know, and it's not that I like the fact that she continually kind of comes back to this reality that we are in a world desperately in need of God's mercy. That the human family is corrupt by sin and darkness and death and that God has sent his mercy to us because we stand before him. This is the gospel of Paul. This is the gospel that Paul was saying, even if another comes and preaches to you a different gospel, let them be accursed. That we stand before God as beggars in need of his mercy. And there's nothing that we can do to save ourselves, but receive the mercy of God, right? And so St. Faustina hammers the point home over and over and over again of God's overwhelming, unfathomable love for you and me. But we must open our hearts to that mercy and how sad it is that so much of the world readily and repeatedly turns its back on God's mercy. So today let's pray that we receive the mercy of God, that we let the wine and water be poured over us, that we let Jesus pick us up and put us on his own animal. We let Jesus pay the price for our healing, right? Let's pray that we allow that to be done for us and that we are transformed by that. And then let's pray for the rest of this world so desperately in need of a visit from the Good Samaritan, that God's mercy and salvation would uh, reach from east to west and from north to south, and that with St. Faustina, we too could be apostles of God's mercy.